So here again uh, we have this text and we want here to have a hypernation so let's create a new style from here new style from this selection uh, let's test rename this uh, my style okay so now let's take my style let's modify uh, my style we want one centimeter here and we want hypernation to be at two characters so let's see and let's uh, make this style justify okay so this is very useful to have a new paragraph and to have hypernation activated uh, let's write another sentence. Um, I like oranges very much, um, and also I appreciate the uh, I like oranges, and I want to move this I like you like oranges and also I appreciate you can see uh, I have this style apply so it's activated if I decide to uh, uncheck this for example I go here text flow I uncheck this all the paragraph I have in my uh, document uh, apply the same thing you can have here you can see here I don't have any uh, hypernation so it's very easy to use with styles I can modify here to have three characters at a line end a line beginning so let's see here we have three uh, here I don't have uh, and so it does not apply let's change to two let's change here with two so we have a better looking uh, page so it's very easy to use uh, 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 idea is not to apply this to this default style because if I apply this um, hypernation to this style all these styles will have hypernation by default so it's not a good idea to uh, check this for the for this style for default because all these that are from this default style will apply the same settings so it's much better to create a new style and make modification on this particularly uh, created uh, web style um, paragraph style so thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video thank you